Welcome to tonight's Saturday Night Special, episode 107. Hi, I'm David Summerfleck from DeFacto Digital. I challenge you to invest in yourself, invest in others, develop your influence, and impact the world by using your time, your talent, and your treasures to live out your calling. Having a firm grip on your calling and how to market it is key to doing this And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend, Scott Mater. If you look at the mess that you've had in your life and that's all, then there's nothing about it that's good. If on the other hand, you look at that same mess and you say, out of that mess, I've learned some new things. I've developed some new skills. I'm a little more robust than I was before. Then that same mess can be something that you're blessed by. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. And tonight's Saturday Night Special, I talk to you about paying attention. I share why where you pay attention and what you pay attention to really matters. And I share how in many ways, attention is actually your most precious resource. I also share some ways you can identify where your attention really is. You know, one area that a lot of folks need some help with is around the area of productivity. Getting not just more things done, but actually getting the right things done can be really tough. I've got a course called Productivity for Your Passion that's designed to help you do this and then to hold you accountable and walk with you so that you can tailor productivity not just to be getting more done, but actually getting the right things done. What's more, we take the approach of looking at your personality and how you actually look at things in the world and tailor the productivity system to your personality. Because the truth is, a lot of the systems that are out there are written really well for somebody with a particular personality type. But if you have a different approach to things, they just don't work. But there's tools and techniques and approaches that you can take that will work for anyone. And we help you do that in productivity for your passion. Check it out over at inspiredstewardship.com slash launch. Every single day matters. The truth is every moment that we have matters. It, It matters to us. It matters to others. It matters to the impact that we make. And as I go through the world, as I go through life, like this particular week that I'm recording this was a really rough week. I had a lot of challenging situations come up. I've had some friends that have gotten very sick. I, we had a little scare with me and getting sick, and I actually got pneumonia, but I'm recovering well. And all of these things happen. And when all of this bad stuff happens, it's so easy to pay attention and focus on all of the bad stuff. Many of us say that health is our top priority. And a lot of times I talk about managing your money and managing your time and how important that is. And don't get me wrong. All of those things are vitally important. Time especially is one of those resources that once you've spent it, you can never, ever get it back. But in many ways, your attention is just as precious a resource. And yet we often don't look at it that way. We don't think about our attention as a resource that backs us up. So where you pay attention, what you focus on, what you pay attention to really matters. If you have things which consume your thought throughout the day and burn up mental energy, what you're focusing on matters. Things don't just happen to us, you happen to them. All of these aspects of your life, your health, your relationships, your business, your finances, your time, all are affected by what you pay attention to. What what you focus on is really what your attention, in many ways, is your most precious resource. 
If you're sitting next to someone on a park bench in a nice weather and beautiful sunny day and the grass is green and you can smell the, the smell of cut grass and people walking and cycling and having a conversation and doing all of these things that people do and you're focused on enjoying that moment, on, on the experience that you have on how the, the sun warms you and all of these things, and you notice the smells and the sights, and yet somebody can be sitting next to you and they can see all of the people and maybe see the children playing and focus on how frustrating it is that the children are out of school right now, that the sound of the children screaming bothers them. It's distracting them from their thoughts that they're trying to focus on. Maybe they're trying to read the paper and the, the breeze is fluffering the paper and the, the sun is a little too hot. They're noticing it and focusing on it as a negative way. What is what, what you focus on is becoming the truth. The truth is the only thing that you have is that attention that you pay. And by the same token, what is what you feel as well? Think about the end result of those two experiences as each of those people get up from that park bench and go about their day. One of them feels their energy recharged and lifted up. One of them feels like this is going to be a great day. I had a moment to sit in the sun and enjoy the moment. And the other is going into their next moments frustrated, maybe a little tired, a little angry, a little too hot a little frustrated with all of the noise and the fact that they weren't able to enjoy reading their paper. And the next moment that each of them has is going to be different. Because you see, the third thing is what is what you get. If you're focused on the negative, then you're going to notice more negative. If you're focused on the positive, then you're going to see more positive. If you look at the mess that you've had in your life and that's all, then there's nothing about it that's good. If on the other hand, you look at that same mess and you say, out of that mess, I've learned some new things. I've developed some new skills. I'm a little more robust than I was before. Then that same mess can be something that you're blessed by. The truth is you can identify where your attention is really going. You can actually focus in and think about what am I paying attention to by asking yourself, what are those thoughts that come through my mind each and every day? Am I able to look at something that's bad or something that's negative or something that's challenging and frame it in a way that's positive? Am I able to have gratitude each and every day? Am I able to sit down and identify three or four things that I'm thankful for each and every day? Am I able to capture those moments and focus my attention on the positive? And what's funny is it's a feedback loop. If you find yourself doing that, then it's easier to do it because of the way we just talked about. You see what you want, and then what you want to see becomes the truth. That's how attention is your most precious resource. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you enjoyed this episode, please do us a favor go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash iTunes rate, all one word, iTunes rate. It'll take you through how to leave a rating and review and how to make sure you're subscribed to the podcast so that you can get every episode as it comes out in your feed. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.